What render distance do you play Minecraft with? For me, I use 16 on Minecraft Java Edition, and then 64 on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. But today, I want to ask two different questions. First up, how high can we set our render distance to in Minecraft? And two, is it then possible to set this number so high that the amount of blocks or meters that would load in front of us would exceed the total distance that we could see downrange in real life? The general rule of thumb is a person who stands 2 meters or 6 feet tall can see about 5 kilometers downrange or 3.1 miles, which means what I'm asking is, can we do the same thing in Minecraft and see 5 kilometers or 5,000 blocks downrange? Well, let's go ahead and let's check it out. So how are we going to pull this off? Well, first up, we need to understand what the view distance slider really means. In Minecraft Bedrock Edition, the version of the game that I'll be using here, when this slider is set to 64, what exactly does that mean? Well, the Minecraft world itself is comprised of an array of 16 block long and 16 block wide chunks. When the view distance slider is set to 64, all we have to do is take that number and multiply it by 16, and that's how many blocks in front of us will load, in this case 1024 or just over 1 kilometer. So without even trying, we're already one fifth of the way there. But how do we take it even further? Because the in-game slider for me is maxed at 64, we need to find another way to increase this number. In Minecraft Bedrock Edition, quite a few things cannot be customized as easily as they can be in the Java Edition. Thankfully, Bedrock's in-game options are not under lock and key. We can just open up Bedrock Edition's options file and crank that number up as high as we want and that will work. So then, how high do we set this number to? Well, as I mentioned before, if you take the in-game view distance slider and multiply it by 16, that's how many blocks ahead of us that we are able to see from where we're standing. And it just so happens that the same number, 1024, currently resides within the options file. So then, let's put in our own number. Since the number we put in has to be a factor of 16, the smallest valid number that we can use is 5008. So with that number in place, let's get to work. Now, while I could just fire up a normal Minecraft world, I wanted to give myself the best odds for success, at least initially. So I fired up a super flat world and placed clearly visible markers every 250 blocks with much bigger markers every 1000 blocks, all the way out to 5000. But this is where I ran into my first set of problems. Standing at the center of the world, chunk loading is very, very slow in the setting, even from the moment that I start the world. Well, this is a little unfortunate, one thing that I can do is walk the distance out from zero all the way to 5,000 blocks. If this experiment is gonna work, then I should be able to see all five 1,000 block markers in my field of view all at once once I'm done. So I walk the distance, and afterwards, only three of them were visible. If we don't count the one I'm standing next to, that's a view distance of just over 2,000 blocks. So what's going on? Well, for whatever reason, unbeknownst to me, no matter what setting beyond 2064 that I set my view distance to within that text file, the maximum distance that I can travel away from the initial marker is 2064 blocks before that initial marker disappears, which is equal to the view distance slider being set to around 128 or 129. Whether or not this is a hard-coded limitation of Minecraft Bedrock Edition or a graphics card limitation of mine, I'm honestly not sure. But what I do know is, while I was conducting this experiment, the memory usage on my 4 gigabyte GTX 980 graphics card went as high as, well, 4 gigabytes. So at this point, my only option to see if this is the problem is to buy a new graphics card, which honestly, I may wind up doing at some point in the near future. 
Unfortunately, while I'm usually able to break Minecraft in any way that I please and get away with it, this time the results are inconclusive. While it's impressive that we can set Minecraft's in-game options to even allow us to see two kilometers in front of us, for now, that's all that I've got. If I do get a new graphics card anytime soon, I will conduct this experiment again, and if I get worthwhile results, I'll be sure to share them with you. But anyways guys, that just about does it for me for now. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like on it, because it would really help out myself, the channel, and the video quite a lot. So I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.